What's up YouTube? My name is Ty, financial professional. Welcome to my channel. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Swatter Gambling Show. So here is BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond. This finishes at $10.36 today. That is up 18%. So we've been covering this stock for a couple of weeks now, ever since this squeezed all the way from the low of 440 to the high of $30, which was over a 580% upside. Absolutely insane, crazy price action. And while the stock was running up, I did say that the squeeze was getting a bit ridiculous. Sooner or later, it was going to come crashing down. And I actually said it was a good time to sell and short it down. A lot of apes did not like that. Got a lot of hate for that to be expected. But here we are. Let's be honest, guys. We all knew this was going to happen. This was not going to end well. So I'm very happy for the apes who made money here. And I hope you guys took your profits. Diamond hands is not the way, guys. So this ran up to $30. And then Ryan Cohen sold his entire stake. And all hell broke loose from there. So for the past few days, this has been a falling knife. Very significant pullback here. But today, this was a nice recovery. And there was a reason as to why this stock went up so much today. We had some news come out in the aftermarket yesterday. So let's check that out. So the news is that Bed Bath & Beyond got a $400 million loan from 6th Street. So lately there's been a lot of talk of a possible bankruptcy coming up soon, a lot of negative speculation, but after the company got this loan, it appears like there's not going to be any bankruptcy fears for a while. And in addition to that, there are rumors going around right now that Bye Bye Baby may be spun off. So just speculation right now, but if that is true, that would be bullish. So yeah, really bullish PR and just the overall markets doing pretty well today, and that is why the stock ran up 18%. Very nice. This was number four on stock twits today. Had over 5,700 mentions. So once again, we're going to analyze it. And this is going to be more or less the same from what I've been saying about Bed Bath & Beyond, just with the updated price action. All right, let's jump right in. Let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, we have a cup and handle in the making. Very ugly looking cup and handle right now, but still a cup and handle. And there are multiple possible tops. It can be $30. And longer term, this is part of an even bigger cup and handle where the top can be $31.70, $39.30, $40, $44.55, or even the high of $53.90. Although I do believe the most realistic top would be $30. But those are all bullish indicators that is telling us that the stock should come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. And then we have a double gap down. First gap down was back at $16.15. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to $16.15 to fill that gap. And the second gap down was back at $22.50. So that's another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 2250 to fill that gap. And those gaps will either get filled in the short term if this has a dead cat bounce or in the longer term when the stock eventually has its day again. And in the aftermarket here, this is running up to 1090. So if this aftermarket action holds, that would be a bullish indicator for tomorrow. That is suggesting that tomorrow the stock will run to the upside as well. And now for the bearish stuff, we also have a double gap up. First gap up was back at... 830 so that's a bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back down to 830 to fill that gap and the second gap up was back at 650 so another bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back down to 650 to fill that gap and those two gaps should fill in the short term and here we do have a head and shoulders developing here's the first shoulder here was the head and now the second shoulder is developing here so that's a bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock may be due for a sell-off here we had an ascending channel the upper channel was at 25 and the lower channel was at 18. So if this broke 25 to the upside, that would be bullish. And if this broke 18 to the downside, that would be bearish. This did in fact break 18 to the downside. So the ascending channel is currently a bearish indicator. Here we did have a bull flag developing. So that was a bullish indicator. That was telling us that the stock could possibly break out to the upside. Unfortunately, the bull flag got rejected. So that is now a bearish indicator. Down here on the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. Two days ago, the MACD line crossed the signal line to the downside. So that's a bearish indicator that is telling us that it may be time to sell. RSI is currently at 50. So that is extremely average. According to the RSI, the current price of 1036 is fair market value. So the RSI is currently a neutral indicator. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel the rectangle of 1055 and 1015. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 1055, 1090, 1125, 1170, $12, 1260, 1295, 1340, 1380, 1420, 1450, 1490, 1530, 1565, and then 1620. There is resistance above 1620, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 1015, 965, 940, 920, 885, 
855, 815, 795, 750, 715, 695, 665, 640, 610, 585, 550, 520, 5 dollars, 475, and then the low of 440. So right now with the current price, 1036, the channels to the upside and the downside are very wide, so expect significant price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 715 to the downside, the channel starts to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 715 to the downside. And this did 115 million in volume today, way above the average of 12 million. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. Okay, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. So it was an epic short squeeze. Again, I'm very happy for the apes who made money, but we all knew this was not going to end well. So I hope you guys took your profits. We did have a nice recovery here today, but honestly, I think that's just because of the good PR, the $400 million loan. And it still looks pretty bearish in the short term. It still looks like it's due for some significant pullback. Again, we have some very strong bearish indicators right now in the double gap up. Ascending channel, head and shoulders, rejected bull flag, and MACD. Way more bearish indicators than bullish indicators right now. So therefore, if you want to go along, not financial advice, I would not do that, and I would not recommend that. Again, this is a falling knife right now. Looks very bearish. Looks like there's a lot more downside to go. So there's a good chance you get burned here, going long. It doesn't seem like the greatest idea right now. In the short term, this may come back up to 1620 to fill the gap there, although unlikely. And from the current price of 1036, that would be over a 55% upside potential. So pretty decent upside potential here in the short term. And again, this should pull back down to 650 to fill the gap there. And from the current price of 1036, that would be about a 40% downside potential. So also a pretty good amount of downside potential here in the short term. So I would say going long here at the current price, 1036 would be a high risk, medium reward play. Not really worth it in my opinion. I say high risk because again, there is a 40% downside potential here. And I say medium reward play because 55% is a lot of upside potential, but it's just pretty unlikely the gap fills there. So going long does not appear to be a great play right now. If you want to go long, please do that at your own risk, and it would definitely have to be for a quick scalp. Get in, get your money, get out. But honestly, if you're a bit patient here, again, this should pull back down to 650 to fill the gap there, and I think that would be an excellent entry, a much better entry than the current price of 1036. So from 650, this should eventually come back up to 2250 in the longer term to fill the gap there. And that would be over a 245% upside potential. So I would say going long at 650 would be a low risk, very high reward play. Definitely worth a shot in my opinion. Massive upside potential in the longer term and really shouldn't go too much further to the downside. That's near the all time low. So you really can't go too wrong there buying in at 650. So I don't like the current entry of 1036, but I can support going long at 650 where the gap is and if it pulls back then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. Now if you want to go short enough financial advice you missed huge downside already in the past few days so that's really unfortunate but there is still a lot of downside to go here. It's not too late to go short. Going short here still appears to be a pretty decent play. Again really strong bearish indicators right now way more bearish indicators than bullish indicators so this does appear like it's still due for some significant pullback. So again in the short term this may come back up to 1620 to fill the gap there although pretty unlikely. That would be over a 55% upside potential. And again, this should come back down to 650 in the short term to fill the gap there, which would be about a 40% downside potential. So I would say going short at the current price, 1036 would be a medium risk, high reward play. Definitely worth a shot, in my opinion. I say medium risk because again, there is the chance of a dead cat bounce here in the short term, although pretty unlikely, but possible. And I say high reward play because there's a 40% downside potential here. So it's a little risky, but as long as you're able to withstand some upside pressure here, this should eventually pull back down to 650, and that should be some pretty fat tendies on the downside. So I can support going short at the current price, 1036 and higher. And again, I would cover at 650, where the gap is, for a relatively easy 40% downside gain. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today. Consider taking profits if you're up, not financial advice. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.